I'm Nate Ray. We're here in Chowchilla, California, and I'm the general manager for Diego Farms Incorporated. Um, we're a 17,000 acre custom farming operation to feed uh, eight different dairies uh, that milk roughly 25,000 cows, and we're responsible for growing all the feed, um, alfalfa, wheat forage, and corn forages for them. The easiest means to irrigate crops is just to flood water on top of the ground um, in a controlled manner by, by putting up borders to direct the water. Um, it's, it's an easy system, it's a, it's a low cost um, system to implement, but uh, for the most part it's an inefficient system. For the last three years we've been in the midst of one of the most historic droughts in, uh, in the state of California and generally in the western United States. About six years ago, um, we started experimenting with drip, with subsurface drip irrigation. Um, we first implemented it on a 80 acre alfalfa field. Um, and after three years of that, we started to see the benefits, the water savings, the yield increases, um, basically labor savings. And so we started to implement it on more acres within alfalfa. And then three years ago, we implemented it on our row crops, uh, our corn and, and our wheat silage ground, and started to see the same thing there. Less water use, more, more yield. Um, and then two years ago is when we started to implement the uh, dairy effluent water um, in conjunction with our SDI application. The partnership with Diego and Nedafin began by uh, sustainable conservation you know, having realized that uh, nitrates going into groundwater was a major challenge, we realized also that there were some really innovative um, partners out there. We were referred to um, Dennis Hannaford uh, with Netafim as someone who had a lot of expertise in that area and an interest in, in solving uh, the, this challenge through a drip irrigation system. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to, to apply lagoon water through drip irrigation. And then the idea is to replace any synthetic uh, commercial fertilizers, replace them with uh, the, the nutrients that are coming off the dairy cows, very valuable nutrient source that until now has really not been able to put through drip irrigation. Nobody's really been able to uh, to accomplish that in a commercial way. For the last two years, um, we've had a, a trial going where we've been applying manure water along with fresh water to 40 acre plot. And then the other 40 acres of the 80 acre field is, gets fresh water and commercial fertilizer through subsurface drip irrigation as well. And over the last two years, um, we've seen an increase in yield just within subsurface irrigation with the plot that's been irrigated with the manure water. Um, and that's and we've seen a better, a better feed value come off of that plot as well. If we're applying lagoon water uh, to uh, subsurface rather than through flooding events on the surface, we're, we're going to eliminate uh, um, greenhouse gases and, and global warming if that is indeed what's happening. Uh, air emissions, if nothing else, we're going to minimize those. You know, as the manure water gets thicker and, and as conditions change throughout the year, um, it gives us a new set of challenges here at the filters to, to give us a clean product to put out in the field. But um, I think with, the, with your water savings, with your in yield increase, and with your fertilizer savings being the fact that we're running the dairy effluent water, um, you're probably looking at about a four to five years, I would say, um, before this system is gonna, it's gonna pay you back. And, you know, you're looking at a 20-year a life system. Finding an economic um, solution to an environmental um, challenge, for example, like, like we're doing here, um, underscores the realization that everyone is looking uh, for the same uh, outcome. We have a very limited water supply that we've got to manage. If we don't manage that effectively, in the future, we're not going to have the fresh water supplies that we need to continue to grow the foods, the food that we need to grow, let alone to survive. SDI is definitely a game changer.